Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Andrew. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new Lenovo ThinkPad X240 laptop. All right, let's get started. For late 2013, Lenovo introduces the all-new ThinkPad X240 laptop, featuring an all-new design, redesigned trackpad, and the latest Intel Haswell processors. All right, let's go ahead and see if this laptop is worth your hard-earning bucks. All right, let me go ahead and break down the product specs here on this laptop. This laptop features an Intel Core i5-4200U processor, running at 1.6 GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.6 GHz. Intel HD 4400 graphics, 8 GB of RAM running at 1600 MHz, 500 GB hard drive running at 7200 RPM. For the display, we got a 12.5 inch HD LED backlit anti-glare IPS display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. Intel dual band wireless 7260BN with Bluetooth 4.0. 720p HD camera, backlit keyboard, and for the pointing device you got an ultra nav track point and multi-touch trackpad with a fingerprint reader. This laptop is currently running Microsoft Windows 8 and the retail price of this configuration came out to $1,309. Next up let's take a look at the ports on the all new X240 laptop. Starting from the left you got your AC charging port, exhaust port, VGA port, USB 3.0 port, mini display port, and here you got your smart card reader port. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the opposite side now. Here you got your Kensington security slot, ethernet port, SD card reader, SIM card reader, USB 3.0 port, headphone and microphone combo jack. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom and see what else we have here. Let me get a better focus on the camera. There we go. All right, here we got your docking port for your docking station. And here goes your secondary three cell battery pack. When used together with the internal 3-cell, Lenovo claims you can get up to 10 hours of usage. Next up, let's test out the boot-up speed on the all-new X240 laptop. For this configuration, we have the 500 gb 7200 RPM hard drive. Alright, let's get started. Here we go. Lenovo logo. Status bar spinning. Logging in now, and still spinning, and we're done. So roughly around 20 to 21 seconds, which is fairly decent considering there's no SSD in here. Next up, let's talk about CPU performance. The Intel Core i5-4200U has been great. From web browsing to watching HD videos to even some light photo editing and light duty games like FIFA 14, this computer ran smooth. 8GB of RAM will be fine for most users today, however, with only one DIMM slot for the RAM, hopefully we'll see a single 16GB stick soon. Next up, let's take a look at some Geekbench 3 scores here. This is the 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 2,435. For the multi-core score, I got 4,693. For the Cinebench CPU score, I got 230 CB. Next up, let's test out the Intel HD Graphics 4400 using 3D Mart. For iStorm, I got a score of 36,621. For CloudGate, I got a score of 4,039. And Firestrike came in at 539. And for the OpenGL test using Cinebench R15 came in at 16.65 frames per second. Next up, let's talk about battery performance. With both 3-cell battery packs fully charged, I was able to get around 7 to 8 hours with screen brightness at around 70%. I did not get anywhere near Lenovo's claim of up to 10 hours. For additional battery time, you can also choose the 6-cell battery pack instead of the 3-cell. However, keep in mind you will add much more bulk compared to the 3-cell. Next up, let's test out the 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive using Crystal Dismart. For the read speed, I was able to get around 125.2 megabytes a second. For the write speed, I was able to get 122.4 megabytes a second. For those of you that need much more speed, there's also a pre-configured option of 128 gigabyte solid state drive for an additional $170, or a 256 gigabyte solid state drive for an additional $320. Next up, let's talk about display quality and viewing angles. The display quality has been good considering it's not a full HD panel. The resolution comes in at 1366 by 768. Alright, let's go ahead and test out the viewing angles on this IPS display here. Let me go ahead and rotate to the left. Check out those viewing angles. I have been highly impressed with this IPS display. One of the best I've seen on the market. Right, let's go ahead and rotate back to the center. Let's go to the right side now. Check that out. There's not even no glare at all. 
exceptional quality on this panel. Only downsides to this panel is there's not an option as of yet to get a full 1080p HD panel. Alright, next up let's test out the IPS display by tilting the display all the way back. Let me make sure the screen brightness is all the way 100%. Yep, there it is. Alright, here we go. Check that out. Still so smooth and clear. Virtually no glare at all. Like I said, I've been highly impressed with this panel on this laptop. If you plan to purchase this laptop, make sure you select the 12.5 inch HD LED backlit anti-glare IPS display. There's also a touchscreen version of this panel for an additional $200. Next up let's talk about the Fingerprint Manager Pro program here. Here you can program up to 10 fingers. Here I have two fingers program. Let me go ahead and show you here. Here you just scan your fingerprint multiple times until the fingerprint reader scans it. Alright, next up let's test out the fingerprint reader scanner here in action. Here we got one of the main screens here while logging in. Let me go ahead and swipe my finger. And boom, we're done. Just like that we're logging in. I've been highly satisfied with the fingerprint reader on this laptop. I have not had any issues at all. Next up, let's talk about speaker performance on the all-new X240 laptop. I've been highly disappointed with the speakers on this laptop. I thought Lenovo would have learned its lesson on the X230 speakers, but I guess not. Next up, let's talk about keyboard, track point, and trackpad performance. The keyboard has been a pleasure to type on. The keys are very similar to the X230, so if you enjoyed the X230, you'll love the X240's keyboard. Track point has also been smooth and accurate. Next up, let's talk about the trackpad. Trackpad performance has been good. Two finger scrolling and multi-touch gestures has been great. However, with the physical buttons gone on the trackpad, occasionally the trackpad would think I'm right clicking when I'm just trying to open up Firefox for example. With that being said, it'll probably just take time to get adjusted to the trackpad and the sensitivity levels of it. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at what's under the hood of the all new Lenovo ThinkPad X240 laptop. Alright, let's get started. After removing all the screws and cover, be sure to push down on these plastic pins here on the back while removing the cover so you won't break anything. Here goes your 3 cell battery pack, 2.5mm hard drive here. You can also upgrade this to an SSD if you like to. Here goes the top speaker, the bottom speaker, and here goes your Intel dual band wireless 7260BN with Bluetooth 4.0 right here. Here goes your docking port, here goes your one dim stick for your RAM. And there goes your fan. Let me get you some more viewing angles of what's under the hood. Here we go. Take a look at that. Very nice and compact. If you're looking for the ultimate laptop that has the build quality to back it up while not sacrificing performance, then look no further than the all new Lenovo ThinkPad X240 laptop. This laptop has been built to meet the demands of people that need a laptop that is designed to be a workhorse. With many different customization options to choose from, and the latest Intel Haswell processors, this is one of the best laptops out there on the market today. My only cons were not having a full HD panel available yet, less than average speaker quality, and one dim slot for the RAM. Alright, this completes my review on the all new Lenovo ThinkPad X240 